My name is Don Nakamoto. I'd like to welcome everybody to this uh, press event. I'm the uh, director of the Verdugo Workforce Investment Board, and we oversee the training and employment programs for the Glendale Burbank region. Uh, today we're wrapping up the uh, Summer Youth Employment Program, the brush clearance portion of that. And um, it's pretty appropriate that there was a fire earlier today, and I guess it's still going on, uh, because we want to point out some of the benefits of the brush clearance portion of the training that we had. Uh, also, the youth uh, want to take this opportunity to thank uh, a number of the people standing behind me for uh, their support in helping to create about 260 jobs for summer youth in our region. Um, first, uh, Adam Schiff, Congressman Adam Schiff, uh, he has a representative uh, that was going to be here. I'm not sure what happened. I think he probably got lost uh, trying to make it up here. Um, we also have uh, Mayor Frank Quintero and Council Member Laura Friedman, and they played an important role in this process as well. Um, Congressman Schiff uh, fought for the funding for the stimulus money, and it was the source of funding that actually created these jobs, otherwise they wouldn't have existed. All the youth standing behind me wouldn't have been employed. Uh, but also the City Council approved uh, the allocation of a good portion of the money to support summer youth jobs this year, so they deserve a lot of credit for making that decision. Also I have uh, today with us uh, Chief Scoggins from the uh, Glendale Fire Department and he also played a role in helping to develop the uh, the program that we have here today. Also I think the uh, the community should thank uh, a lot of the youth here today as well because their actions, their activities in employment this summer have really removed a lot of the uh, fire danger around a lot of the homes in this area. Our program today, I'm going to have uh, Karina Gregorian from the Glendale Youth Alliance come up shortly to talk about the program that was run. Uh, we're going to have a youth uh, talk about her experiences this summer. And we're going to make a few presentations as well to some of the people that helped make this program happen this year. And also we're going to have some of the youth uh, lead a, a little explanation of uh, what they did and what they uh, experienced this summer. So with that, I'd like to introduce Karina Gregorian, the manager of the uh, Glendale Youth Alliance. Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. My name is Karina Gregorian. I'm the program supervisor for the Glendale Youth Alliance. It's a huge honor for me to be here today because I started out in the uh, brush program working on the hillsides just like these youth did uh, 14 years ago. <laughs> Um, this year we were honored to serve over 250 youth in our summer program. 50 of our youngest youth were able to work in the summer brush program while 200 others were placed in 77 different organizations within the community. These ranged from retail outlets to nonprofits such as Catholic Charities, uh, New Horizons, City Departments, as well as many other locations. Um, this is a huge benefit to our community. The youth are working hard out in the heat. They're preventing fires in our community. Um, the funding has allowed for a lot of savings for the work sites that uh, do employ the youth during the summer. Um, with that, I want to introduce one of our youth, Nicole Marzuko, who will share her experience in the summer program and what she gained out of this experience. Thank you. My name is Nicole Marzuko. I'm 14 years old. I'm going to be a sophomore at GHS. And the experience at Glendale Youth Alliance has been very good. It's, I've learned a lot of characteristics such as leadership, responsibility, teamwork, and much more. These qualities will help me much more in the future. I'm saving the money that I'm getting to, for the GYA to go to college and to become a nurse and I'm gonna join the Air Force 
and the experience has been very good. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. On behalf of all the youth in the program and on behalf of the staff and board of the Glendale Youth Alliance, we have a little token of appreciation for um, you all today. Um, Great. We'd like to have each of the um, awardees uh, make a brief statement. If I could have uh, Mayor Quintero come up. Well, let me say what a pleasure it is to be here and what an honor it is to be here with these young uh, people. It is currently, my temperature gauge uh, showed uh, 91 degrees as I uh, drove up, and we're standing in the sun, but normally these young men and women are up and down these hillsides, as Don Nakamoto mentioned, uh, performing really a public service, even though they're getting paid for their uh, efforts. For all of us that live in, on these uh, hillsides, it is in fact a public service, and I highly recommend uh, them in terms of doing your hillsides. The Glendale Youth Alliance, I participated in the foundation. I was on the board of directors for many uh, years. It's grown, quite frankly, beyond my expectations. It's more than just brush clearance. It's more than for younger people. It transcends what we originally had in mind. Karina is a good example of that. Young men and women who've gone through the program and who have eventually gone on to college working with the uh, cities, and they're doing great things for this community and for this country. And I know that's going to be the exact uh, model that these other young people will follow. They will continue their education and go on to college and become productive citizens. And for Nicole, let me tell you, you don't want to join the Air Force. You want to become a Navy medic, a Navy <laughs> corpsman, and work with the United States Marine Corps. And that's what you have in your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Mayor. Uh, Council One. Thank you. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here today. We're here to honor these men and women, these young people, who are out here every day working, not because someone told them that they have to, but because they realize that having this work experience now is going to help them in their future. And for anyone who wonders about whether our future of Glendale is in good hands or the future of the country is in good hands, all they have to do is look at the the young people that are involved in the Glendale Youth Alliance to know that our future is in good hands and that we are developing the next generation of leaders right here in Glendale. So I want to thank all of you and I hope to see you all over the next several years. Thank you. Chief uh, Scoggin. I just want to say a word of thanks to all the kids who are here today because they are really on the front lines of fire prevention here in the community. The work that they've been doing all summer long and throughout the course of the year really, really saves the community a great deal. Whenever there's an incident here in the community, one of the things that we always look for is, is the brush clearance done? Do we have enough uh, room to work? And it's because of their efforts this summer, this city is better off. Um, so we appreciate it. We're going to continue our partnership with GYA. We know the value of it and we know the importance of it. So thank you to each of the students here. Thank you very much. That concludes our uh, press event. I think uh, some of the youth want to uh, talk to our dignitaries and tell them a little bit about what happened this summer and their experience. So thank you very much for coming. We appreciate your participation. Thank you. Thank you.